I'm Dan Waldman and this is my partner Jared Bellman and then you're listening to our radio show. Our first topic today will be Dirk, LeBron, and Kobe. Now Jared, who do you think is the best player of the three? Of the three, I would have to go with LeBron James. Uh, a lot of people are saying, you know, he's a choker, he can't play with other guys, but I mean he can he has to play with other guys to win, but LeBron is a pure scorer. He's the most complete player I've seen. He rebounds well, he's an exceptional passer for the small forward position, and he's also a dominant scorer. Well, I've got to go with Kobe here. He's won more championships than LeBron. Um, the last time I checked, LeBron had zero. Um, he's, got, he's a better player, he's a better pure scorer. He can get to the rim whenever he wants, and he's just the best player in the NBA. Um, he's playing for a Lakers team, that has much less talent than the Miami Heat with Chris Bosh, LeBron James, and so Kobe is the best player. All right. And our next topic is how pitching in the Major League Baseball is dominating the batting. Yeah. Now, Jared, can you name some examples of how pitching has really dominated the batters in the MLB this season? Well, one of the guys who's got off to an extremely hot start is a guy named Jared Weaver from the um, Los Angeles Angels. Started the season off 6-0. and He has an ERA under 2. He has just been dominant all year. One of the best pitchers this year in the American League. Well, you always hear about this Phillies pitching rotation with Cole Hamels, Roy Oswald, Roy Holiday, and Cliff Lee. But one of the main guys I like is Cliff Lee with a .2 ERA. I think that's just incredible for the month of June. Um, that whole Phillies rotation is just incredible, and they've been striking out batters like any team I've never seen before. Our ne our last topic for today is <clears throat> the NFL lockout, players versus owners. Now, Dan, I think that the players have the clear advantage here because, I mean, the owners, these guys are billionaires. They're going to make money regardless, and they just want more and more money and it's absolutely ridiculous. These NFL players are playing their hearts out every day. They can get themselves killed. And for the sake, for the, the, re, the fact that the owners want more money than the players to me is just ridiculous. I, I completely agree with you. The players are right. It, but in this situation, I don't think anyone's right. But if I had to pick, I'd go with the players. The players are throwing their backs out, playing the game that they love. And the owners are sitting up there in their suites with their suits, Armani suits on, eating their chicken wings. And I just, I think it's unbelievable that they're expecting more money when these players are just giving the game all they have. Both sides really need to just get something done because it's getting ridiculous at this point. And pretty soon, we're either going to be missing games or missing the season at this point. Well, we can only hope for the best at this point. For... <clears throat> For ESPN Radio Show, I'm Dan Waldman. I'm Jerry Bellman, and this is PTI.